Huh. Okay, on the left, as the Team SW and Pure Red, we have Rascal as the Crimson Russia and Kao Tianqui as the Red Pacific Front. As the Deadly Alliance, Cult of the Umbrella Corporation. As Team Yellow and Orange, we've got Gliapa and... No, this one's Gliapa playing as the Yellow Cycle and Tesla Cruz are playing as the Orange Pacific Front. We're back on In Limbo here, the Mindfuckery map. Wanted to see how this one goes. Last time we had the left hand side get bottled up with Psychor and Confederation spam. With no Confederation in the game this time, it's double PF Psychor. We may see some Marauder bullying, but it depends on how far it'll go. And that's here we are, both players taking control of their respective oil derricks. I'm sure if Kao Tianqui knows where his second one is, he, sh he probably knows that there is a second one, but he's probably asking himself where the fuck is it? Dogs there, chew on some spooks. Tessa Cruz is gonna have to watch his GIs. There we go, he covers all the dogs in time. I think Kaos found his oil derrick now, so he's on his way to claim it. He's gonna have to be careful with the engineer because uh, Gliapo has got a lot of spooks on site and is even sending his own engineer, I believe, to try and capture the oil derrick. And Akao is sending out his engineer unescorted, which means it's just gonna be spook food. There we go, he's dead, Jim. Tessa Cruiser moving out to secure Yarskor's oil derrick as well. Yarskor responding with a lot of conscripts, more on the way. Well, there is a sizable GI force out there to defend. Does the crews are doing a base crawl out here? Likely to just to secure his next ore patch as well. A lot of GIs. Where is that engineer? There is the engineer. Pulls back for a minute though, like just to regroup, consolidate his GIs. Two GGIs just to make sure that you know you don't get crushed in case there's a tank out and about. As Glio secures Cal Tianqui's oil derrick. Kautianko, looking to repeat what North tried to do in the last game as well, which is base crawl towards these gems here. Personally, I think it's faster just to get an MCV and move out there whilst you can, but alas, this is what the players are choosing to do. Does the cruiser secures Yarskul's second oil derrick as well? Tesla Cruiser nicked both of these oil derricks as well. I'm not sure if he realised that this one in the middle was for him and he thought both of those were his, but alas, they're both on. I can tell you they're both on voice comp, so. I think Leah probably let him get away with it. Lots of conscripts out there for Gar score here. A Tessa crews are bringing more GIs into the fray here. So might want to pull the GGIs back, they're expensive. He may want to support his ally. Gatling tank comes up, kills kills the conscript, but alas, conscripts are just expendable for 50 quid. So we'll see more war miners out of the production queue for Gar score as he goes into radar. Robot Ops on the way for Kao Tianqui as he's built his AFHQ. Trying to get more scouting off, but they caught and herded down by the spooks. What is Gliapa up to? He's going into a second war factory here. What are you going to see it here as he too tries to base crawl towards the ore field up there. And as Tesla Cruiser works on yet another refinery. County Anqui working on another refinery as well. Again, a fairly even game, no decisive blows yet, no major engagements, just both players doing what they do. Gatling tank out here trying to scout around, or oh, it looks like it's trying to chase the Rocketeer, but doesn't catch it as the Rocketeer just flies over the water, so he sets for just driving by. Still building that War Factory Glee, although his economy isn't exactly in the greatest state, but neither is the enemy's. As that Gatling tank now just moves to bully the AFHQ. There's a single stallion out in the field here. I'm not sure if Glio no yeah, Glio's noticed that well and truly. He's gonna try and gun it down in the in outside the factory, but there's a Kappa tank on the scene. And that puts an end to that. But they're well aware that, you know, there's a stallion here, expect seal plays. Or it could be engineer plays. It looks like it's gonna be an engineer play. Oh dear. Massive conscript ball down here. Frontline nuke reactor. Yarskul's going to be have to be very careful here. Actually, Arsenal might not be a bad idea. 
They're looking to blow up the oil derrick, though Cleo's gonna have to be careful, he doesn't catch his teammate in the blaster. Tesla coil down there. Okay, Tesla, you need to deploy your... There we go, result. Okay, you might want to push some of it forward. And you're gonna have to be careful. Rhino's down there on the field. This is all a giant mess. Tesla crews are bringing in some zero reinforcements. We've got a bunch of cappers down there for County Anquie, but Tesla Cruiser has more. Uh, Rhino's now coming in to engage the enemy. Yeah, Tesla won't win that engagement, I reckon. He dismantles one Rhino. Both Rhinos are still alive, but relatively unhealthy, but they'll live. Yep, there's the Arsenal Depot for Tesla Cruiser. So we might start to see some siege cut rate. That's a frontline palace too. Oh, this is very ballsy from Yarscore here. This could go very wrong for him very quickly. Ooh, I want to see how this one goes. Gliapo working on another bioreactor, likely going into tier three. He's noticed Yar uh, Kauti Anquis tier three as well. There's the stallion. It looks like it's captured the secret lab and it's going to capture the machine shop as well. Massive conscript ball moving out here, catches a seal out, or not, no I think that was just a seal between some conscripts. A couple of rocket, right, of uh, rocketeers out here, and here come the siege cards, right? Tesla's still making that barracks, there we go, it's on the front line, right, now he's going to go for the tech up. Seeing robot tanks, navy seals come out, okay. I see Volkov on the field here with that massive skull. There's the first hammer defense. As those lashes just get shot up. It's a large force of cappers, but Tesla Cruiser has a similar number. Although I think Cal has the advantage in numbers there. We're gonna have to be careful. As Volkov just kind of bullies the enemy into submission. Here, and Robot Ops is now down to the Pacific front. Those three lashes are now just closed. Not a lot of AA in the area for the Arsenal, so those Rocketeers do have a window of opportunity, but it's not very large. Yep, there they go, but Volkov is now on yellow HP. Barracuda's being made on the airfield there, and it looks like the Arsenal's going out on the counter attack here. Frontline industrial plant as well. That engagement was largely a draw. Cow would have won, but Gleopat has the support with uh, the Marauders there, and that's going to mop up all of the cappers. Black Eagle comes in, tries to kill a Tesla Cruiser, doesn't succeed, there was only two of them. As this Warhawk here, probably loaded with an engineer, tries to find an opening, but alas, will find none. Yep, that was a seal. As the game comes to stalemate here. Yeah. Tesla working on... Um, Oh, what's it called? Tech Lab finishes that. He's now tier 3. We're going to see Norio out in the field soonish. As uh, Glio. Okay, all players are now at tier 3. Barracuda's all fully on the airfield here. There's a lot of fighting in the center here. That is Cal Tianqui's Norio, and there is no AA in the area to stop that. Here come the Barracudas. And they snipe a power plant? Things where well, it does depower Teslo. But he will just be able to. Um, Power turbine is way out of there. Tesla Cruiser's wrecking face here. So those GGIs were just set to attack. Ooh dear. Lario not looking very healthy though. Now killed the Gatling tanks. Tesla's own Norio out in the field looking to snipe the oil Derek, but I think the Volkov might be the easier pickup here. So here come the flag troopers. Ooh, those Marauders get caught out by the hammers. As they move to rotate away. 
Nightly just to pick away at the economy here, which is arguably probably the best call and use for them right now. Norio moving to join them. The, not, the tier 3 is relatively open there, that's prime Norio territory. Although, ooh, Katiankui responding with his own Norio, and he's got Rocketeers in the area to boot as well. No AA out here for Gliapa with that Marauder Blob. Bunch of seals in the area as well. I'm not, sure, not sure what they're trying to accomplish, but there they are. Mario picking away, hammering up at the, at the um, Marauders here. We've got a couple of battle here. Can't tell if they're loaded. There goes a Chrono Miner, two Chrono Miners, one Teleporter. Well, that's a lot of battle tools. Making that six now. Uh, so Tesla's Mario picks up a bu bunch of. Uh, Desolators. As he now starts working on the robot ops center. It's a good call really because as allies without the robot ops center you can't actually build most of your tier 3 units. This is just turning into a hammer defense group spam here. As uh, Tesla's response to that is uh, hailstorms. Which is an interesting call. But considering how little damage hammer defenses due to infantry, I reckon Siege Cadre are going to be the more cost-effective option there. But alas, no. They come the Barracudas out there looking to strike at something. They're probably going to try and clobber Tizzas Tier 3. He sells the frontline barracks for some reason. Now where are these Cudas going? Scout down? Oh, they're going to strike the Tier 3. Yeah, there goes Tesla's Tier 3. We won't be making hailstorms anymore. Ooh, that's rough. Meanwhile, these Marauders are still going ham. They've got Libra support as well. Picking away at the Technology Center and trying to clobber the Ore Purifier too. Kalatianqui's low power as well. That Warp Shop is not operational. So he's not low power anymore. Oh, that's dirty. We're looking at Desolator Battle Torts here. Oh, and that's Volkov in one as well. Oh, the absolute... Oh, oh. Oh, the gloves are off. The gloves are well and truly off. Here comes some mind control. They mind control the Volkov battle tour. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. And just like that, that disgusting combo was put in its place. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And that is why you do not make battle tortoises against Pacific Front. Oh, oh, that was dirty, but they got what they deserved for that. Well, this Cartiac has lost his tier 3. It looks like he's going to start losing his AFHQ in a minute as well. But no, those Marauders just start picking, just be shot at by that. They go for more miners as well. Kautiakwi's economy is well and truly in the gutter here. I mean, all he's got to his name are those Barracudas have just sniped Leo's Pandora Hub, sending him back to tier 2. Or tier 1.5, depending on what you constitute that with the radar. A couple of Terradrons out here for Yarskor in an effort to just try and clean up these marauders. There's a Stalin's Fist out of the field. I just realised Gleo has Rage Gen. Okay, interesting call, interesting call. As uh, Tesla Cruz are working on Blizzard tanks. Tesla Cruz needs to find a way to get his economy back into shape sharpish because he's going to start rapidly running out of money. He needs to get something up there in an effort to try and mine some extra cash from the ore field up at the top. I still. We all saw the war rig undeploy and move out. God knows where it's going. Probably to the enemy base. As a bunch of Kappas just moved in here and it looks like they just mopped up Kautiankwi's conyard. We've got enraged marauders out here picking away at the infantry force. As the Kautiankwi's desperately trying to use barracudas in the defense against uh, the marauder blob here. And, uh, that looks like to be Tesla's Norio. There's a bunch of flag troopers down there in the air. They pick off that Norio quite easily. As uh, okay, Yarskor's 
called it the pride of the working class on top of the Tesla cruisers as well. Looks like he's going to go for a final dive effort on the enemy. Whether or not Tesla sees that. Okay, Tesla finally sees it. You're going to have to deploy your infantry, but watch out for the danger close cryo. Okay, we're starting to see some suppressors coming in here. Lots of GGIs as well. Magnetism coming into play here. There's the overcharge buff. You need to deploy your stuff, Tesla. But, uh, oh, that's too many initiatives. There's just too much infantry down there. Kaltiangfi still working on Allied MCV, but his base, his economy, everything is in tatters. Cleo sending in the invaders there. As he cleans up all the AA. There's the con yard. But, uh... Invaders everywhere. Okay, yeah, Tesla now is now officially bankrupt. He needs to do something about his economy. The MCV movement it has to come into play here. But Libra back out in force. There's the war rig that we saw earlier. Oh, it undeploys. It looks like they're going to try and bully the conyard again. There's a minimal amount of AA, a single flag turret here pinned behind the hammer defense. I'm not sure if uh, Cleo notices it. Oh yeah, that, that's another dead conyard. Ooh, that's rough. That's very rough. Or he'd been a little bit decisive there. Beacon detected. Cleo pinging an idle friend of mine in an effort to try and help stabilize Tesla's economy. Yaskul's the only player here who actually has money, mostly concentrated in this Tesla Cruiser Force as well, and these hammers, which their deadly alliance, the cult of the Umbrella Corporation, are simply electing to go around. You know, it's the Maginot Line all over again. Kautienkri has finally lost his AFHQ. He refuses to surrender. He's about to lose his last factory as well. He doesn't even serve as a deposit bank anymore either. He has no money. He has no refinery to nick cash from anyway. So now it is a 2v1, and all Yarskull has going for him is, uh, one, two, three, four, eight Tesla Cruisers, and he finally has Curtain. However, well, it doesn't look good for him, really, does it? Okay, Tesla finally working on ore purifier. Still no way on actually boosting his economy though by mining out this ore field. He's doing it at extreme distance. It's better than no economy, but it's not great, is it? Now, the question of the hour is how are Leo and Tesla going to break this? They can't barge in through the front door. They can't not- if they can- Okay, Katian Creek Cut says maybe GG. <laughs> like question marks, maybe? I think Yaskul's just running around like a headless chicken. He's full fired his own Tesla reactor. He's shot up his own repair crate. He just- oh. Warwick's going down. There's a cheer. And now we get to depress ourselves by watching... Um, by watching hailstorms do, quote-unquote, work. Magnetism beam enabled. Warwick's are now enraged and shooting up. Oh, dear. There goes the Stardust Fist. Those Warwick's need a burrow. Okay, one of them's gonna borrow, but he loses one. And here comes the simple mass of infantry. Oh boy. Iron Curtain's gonna go down. MCV out here for emergency crushing, but look at the initiates go! What the hell? There goes the MCV! 
There goes the palace. There goes a veteran sentry gun. <laughs> Much hope for that. Yep, there it goes, up in flames. I think, did Yas? Yeah, Yas! <laughs> Yas God knows which way the wind is blowing. And is, uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Battle Tortoise is weak. <laughs> uh, what's left of the map? That doesn't contribute. Oh, it's a single pillbox. There we go. 